हेलो व्यूवर्स असलकुम वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इशफाक सामून विलाग्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंडिया चाइना रिलेशन दैट इज फ्राम पार्ट ए कंटम्प्रेरी वर्ल्ड पॉलिटिक्स लेक्चर थर्ड फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट्स सब्जेक्ट इज पोलिटिकल साइंस Lecture third for class twelve about the political science. Chapter two of part A, the contemporary world politics. Topic: India-China relations. So before uh, discussing India-China relations, let's see uh, India-China relations. India and China have shared a friendly relationship since early uh, times. This friendship, however, has uh, faced a certain challenge. Since the first half of the 20th century, uh, there have been disputes mainly concerning the borders of both countries. Uh, they have resulted in violent attacks and deaths of many on both sides of the dispute. Uh, despite uh, these problems, both nations have been trying to mend fences through economic, cultural, political, and trade relations. Uh, in recent times, the nations have seen the emergence of border disputes. Viewers, we will review all uh, those issues in today's video lecture, uh, with which both these countries confronted with. So stay with me in this lecture till the end. Let's get started. India-China relations. Uh, before the advent of Western imperialism, India and China were great powers in Asia, uh, with its unique Uh, tributary system china had considerable influence and control on the periphery of its borders then a long history of dynastic rule made countries like mongolia korea parts of indochina and tibet accept china's authority uh, several empires and kingdoms extended their influence beyond their borders uh, this influence was political economic and cultural in both cases As evident from the India-China relations, there uh, was limited political and cultural interaction between the two in history. Uh, however, both countries built on a relationship during the mid 20th century. For a brief time, the slogan of "Hindi Chini Bhai Bhai" was quite famous. The 1900 62 conflict a war took place between china and india between october and november 1962 uh, the himalayan border was the main cause of the war that uh, impacted both countries severely it was in this war that asylum was provided to the dalai lama in india uh, china proposed diplomatic settlements between 1960 and 1962 Uh, but these were rejected by india on october 20th 1962 china decided to invade the disputed territory and attack indian forces finally on november 20th 1962 china announced a cease fire and withdraw from the conflict further concerns in the relations so differences arose when china Uh, took over Tibet in 1950, and the final settlement of the Sino-India border happened. China and India were involved in a border conflict in 1962 over competing territorial claims, principally in Arunachal Pradesh and the Aksai Chin region of Ladakh in Jammu and Kashmir. And the war, which began in 1962, had long-term implications for India-China relations. Until 1976. a decline in diplomatic ties between the two countries was uh, observed further in 1987 the samrong chu standoff took place in arunachal pradesh over the ownership of the samrong chu revolt which led to further problems in their relationship in 2017 uh, there was another standoff in doklam 
commonly known as the China India border standoff, which took place due to the Chinese construction of a road where both countries claimed their territory. In the 20th century, uh, when border uh, when both uh, nations confronted each other, uh, they had some difficulty to evolve a foreign policy to establish relations with uh, each other. Further is positive evolution. After the conflict, bilateral relations between the neighboring countries began to improve slowly and the policies of China became more pragmatic and less ideological. In 1981, the uh, initiation of a several series of talks between the countries started to resolve the border issue. Rajiv Gandhi visited China in December 1988. They provided the impetus for the betterment of India-China relations. Further, we will see uh, along with the economic dimension, now their relations have a strategic look. In the context of Asian economy and politics, both countries play a major role and view them themselves as rising powers in global politics. Several measures have been taken from both sides to prevent conflict and maintain amity and harmony on the border. They have also signed a pact on cultural exchange and alliances. Uh, in science and technology and opened four border posts for trade. Further, we will see uh, with India-China trade growing at 30% per year since 1999, a more positive perspective on relations with China has emerged. Both the countries adopted uh, somewhat the same policies in international economic institutions like the World Trade Organization at the global level. As opposed to the India-China relations, some policies of China have been seen contributing such as a build-up of Pakistan's nuclear program and military relations with Bangladesh and Myanmar were viewed as hostile to Indian interests in South Asia. But there is less opportunity to have a new conflict between the countries just because of these issues uh, particularly. Further, we'll see a notable sign of this is that the talks to resolve the boundary question have continued without interruption and military-to-military -military cooperation in, is increasing. Leaders and officials of both countries visit Beijing and New Delhi with greater frequency and both sides are now becoming more familiar with each other. In a flip to the India-China relations to establish a vibrant and sound relationship between the two most populated countries of the world. Common economic interests, increasing transportation and communication links and global concerns may prove to be the thrust of India-China relations. Further, we will have a recap of this, recapitulation of this topic. Uh, after being independent in 1947, India and with the inception of the People's Republic of China in 1949, China hoped that both would come together to shape the future of the developing world and of Asia particularly. For a brief while, the slogan of Hindi Chini, Bai Bai, was popular. Soon, the French started with the Chinese takeover of Tibet in 1950 and China and India were involved in a border conflict in 1962. Uh, the conflict of 1962 in which India suffered military reverses had long-term implications for India-China relations. Diplomatic relations between the two countries were downgraded until 1976. Thereafter, relations between the two countries began uh, to improve slowly after the change in, in uh, China's political leadership from the mid to late 1970s. China's policy became more pragmatic and less ideological. A series of talks to resolve the border issue were also initiated in 1981. Since the end of the Cold War, there have been significant changes in India-China relations. Uh, their relations now have a strategic as well as an economic dimension. Uh, both 
view each other as rising powers in global politics and both would like to play a major role in the Asian economy and politics that uh, resulted in their uh, rivalry. Uh, Rajiv Gandhi's visit to China in the summer 1988 provided the impetus for a, uh, an improvement in India-China relations. Since then, both governments have taken measures to contain conflict and maintain peace and tranquility on the border. They have also signed ad agreements on cultural exchange and cooperation in science and technology and uh, opened four border courses up uh, for trade. Bilateral trade between India and China has increased from $338 million in 1992 to more than $84 billion in 2017. Uh, India's nuclear testers uh, in 1998, uh, sometimes justified on the grounds of a threat from China, did not stop greater interaction. It is true that China was seen as contributing to the build-up of Pakistan's nuclear program. China's military relations with Bangladesh and Myanmar were viewed as hostile to Indian interests in South Asia. Increasing transportation and communication links, common economic interests and global concerns helped to establish a more positive and sound relationship between the two most populous countries of the world. Uh, uh, recently, uh, the relation between them uh, has taken a down slide uh, because of the Doklaham standoff uh, border disputes. Uh, China Pakistan Economic Corridor and China's support to Pakistan in the United Nations against India are some of the factors uh, which are disturbing their relations in their days. Conclusion So, India and China have had a complicated relationship since the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, as China took over Tibet, uh, both countries entered into a series of disputes. Uh, regarding the borders of the countries. One of the most notable conflicts was the conflict of 1962. Uh, this followed a decline in the diplomatic relations between both countries. Since uh, the 1970s, the countries began to make an effort to improve their ties. In 2020, India saw a ban on Chinese goods, which caused a decline in their relations. Uh, the countries have, however, reached an agreement which prevented the use of guns on the line of actual control. So, with this, we have concluded our uh, lecture. So, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be coming soon. If you want to talk, so there is WhatsApp number which is blinking visible on a screen, email ID is there. So please like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Spark Samuel Lagos. Thank you. We'll meet soon. Till then, Allah is.